Florida, what are you doing? Who are you again? 6969. Six, <laughs> Tell me about the aliens. <laughs> Mississippi, what are you signing? A bill that'll stop trans girls from playing girls' sports. How dare you! Let me go first. What? Okay, so let's just assume someone on the team is accused of being trans. What happens? We check to make sure. Okay, yeah. Ethically? How would you check that? What do you mean? Are you going to ask a high school student to... Take it off? Whip it out. Release the Kraken. Deploy the boys. Let the trouser snake out the cage. Earn some beads. Shine a light where the sun don't shine. Go commando. Display the family jewels. Go all natural. Unlock the jock. Put on the birthday suit. Present your credentials. I hated every part of that. <laughs> You're welcome. We'll, we'll go based on their levels of testosterone. That seems rather invasive for a kid just trying to play high school sports. Is it my turn now? Yeah, whatever. Here we go. Why would you even do this? To protect women. Trans women are women and you're telling them they don't belong. We're protecting the integrity of women's sports. From what? Boys identifying as girls just to dominate sports. Show me one example of that happening. It happens all the time. You think that men are spending thousands of dollars and years in transition therapy just for the sole purpose of winning girls high school sports and you think they're doing it all the time? It ain't just high school, it's every level of competition. So you think men are becoming women to what? Make it to the WNBA? I think it's a possibility. It's a possibility that a man would go through all of that just to be ignored and underpaid? I don't mean to interrupt, but what is a WNBA? See? It's women's professional basketball. Oh, yeah, I had one of those in Miami. And what happened? They went bankrupt in two years. It was impressive. See? I still stand by. We gotta protect our women. You keep saying that. I do not think it means what you think that it means. Princess Bride, nailed it. You've signed a poorly constructed solution to a problem that doesn't exist. Kinda like my law that states you still have to pay the meter if you tie your alligator to it. What? Wait, you said an issue that doesn't exist? Yeah. Huh, never mind.